And as you heard earlier, a neighbor witnessed Warren firing his final shots into his victim. She spoke with News 13's Frank Raboni, who continues our team coverage. Frank, you would think she might have been worried about her own safety, right? That's right, Larry. She says it happened so fast it never crossed her mind. Maria Miranda stood just feet away from the killer with his final shots being burned into her memory. I was about to have a nervous breakdown. Maria Miranda was up all night. I closed my eyes, but I was seeing everything. Mortified by what she saw. I was seeing the bodies and him shooting, the little boy crying, and she was laying there trying to, to breathe. Maria lives behind the fence just across the street. We heard the shots, and it was a lot of shots. When Maria heard the shots, she ran out her front door. She came here to the gazebo in her front yard, where she had a bird's eye view of Warren shooting at his victims. He shot the last bullets, and he went inside the car, and he, she, he yelled at her. He said, is that what you want? I was so nervous. I got so scared. Um, I was shaking so bad, but I ran to see because I saw that she was alive. Carrie Warren went down in the driveway. I touched her on her arm and I told her to hold on, I help us on the way. And I touched her head and she was only trying to breathe, but she couldn't breathe. Her parents also killed in the front yard, their home riddled with bullet holes, fired from an assault rifle by their estranged son-in-law. When he was going into the car, he told the little boy, get inside, get inside, and he, he left. Carrie's four-year-old son playing in the yard saw everything. He was touching her mo his mother, telling her to, please, mommy, get up. Mom, get up, please. His older sister came running out of the house. And she saw her grandfather and mother and grandmother laying on the floor. Neighbors who knew them. And I waved at him like always, and he waved. Grieve, especially for the children. You couldn't ask for better grandparents or better mom. And we see the working cleaning in their yard a neighborhood scarred by tragedy and it's so sad that they're not at that anymore and carrie is survived by a younger brother who now has custody of her two children a four-year-old boy and a nine-year-old girl the little girl actually called 911 from a neighbor's house describing the frantic scene to dispatchers and giving them a description of her father's car